Welcome to uh, Psychic Medium Tony G. I'm here to bring you um, messages from above with uh, by answering your question about life, love, career, finances, or helping you connect with loved ones on the other side. I'm not going to go that because you might, <laughs> not the other side of my living room. No, not at all. The, the other side upstairs. Okay. But however, they are all, when you connect with me, when you call in and connect with me, they are in my living room kind of, they come in from the light up here and they come in from the light over there. So if I'm kind of like closing my eyes or looking up or um, to the side, I'm probably, you know, looking at your angels, your guides, or your loved ones. Now, a couple quick things. This is being aired on Rude Rangers TV. Thank you, Rudy. If you have content, you, yes, you, have a show and you have content that you would like streamed to the masses, contact Rudy at rudytv.com, Rude Rangers TV. Um, and see what you guys can make happen together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, if you need a publicist, contact Amber at Legacy PR. Okay. Now this, okay, this is being aired on WSCS. And if you are watching on WSCS, please keep in mind that there's a part one and a part two to this show. So if you're seeing a 30 minute segment of this show, there will be another 30 minute segment to this show. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. If you'd like to watch me live every Monday at noon, you can do that on YouTube or blog talk. This show is being streamed on many, many stations. Yep. TV and a, like a plethora of blog talk or podcast stations. So I feel the need to say that if you are stepping out on someone or have information you don't want the whole world to know, don't get on the line and say, hey, guess what? I'm doing this. How is this going to turn out? Because there's a chance it's not going to turn out so well if you're hiding something and you put it on national TV. Just, just, just saying, okay, just saying. So watch your questions that you ask. Okay. If you are listening, if you are watching on YouTube and you post a question, I will try to get to it. There's no guarantee. Um, I typically take my callers first and then the YouTube uh, chat section goes so fast. Sometimes I miss questions. So please don't be upset with me about that. Please don't. Um, couple quick things, another couple quick things. Here it is, my book, What If? A Transformational Guide. <laughs> and this is um, <clears throat> a book designed to help you open your mind, your heart, and your soul. It was channeled, as all my books are channeled from, you know, those people up there. And then my one of my other books is... Um, Channeled Messages from Above. Now, this book is more poems and statements from angels that I channeled, where this book is kind of like a workbook. I know it looks really thick. If I saw a book this thick, I probably honestly wouldn't buy it. I'm just not a strong reader. At least I'm honest about it, right? I own that. It's okay if I own that. But here's the trick of this book. As you open it, you see there's one question. It's a what if question. And then there's space for you to fill in. If you believe this philosophy or this thought or this question, what would change in your life? <clears throat> what would you think do differently? That's it. That's all it is. Let's see what this what if is. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, when I say came back in, it means like kind of to this world. What if you came back in with these people at this time in these circumstances to heal you? So what if you came back into this world right now with all the people that you're with, the family, the friends, the relationships at this time that we're in right now 
to heal you? What if that's really what it's about? If that's the case, what would your answer be? Yeah, that was a good one. Huh. Okay. Now, typically I end the show every time by saying, make miracles in your life. And then I say, only you can make the miracles in your life that you want. Only you can create your life the way you want it to be. If you're not creating your miracles, you're living out somebody else's. Now, this has been said um, a number of different ways by a number of different people. The bottom line is that only you, like you truly are responsible for your life. Every choice you make, which is daunting sometimes to think about is leading you either closer to what you want or 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 further from what you want into maybe what you don't want just like riding a wave that you didn't choose right so the message uh, cr create the cr create miracles in your life you know is about being conscious about what you want your subconscious mind already knows your soul's journey here. And it's kind of your destiny or job or whatever word makes you most comfortable to dive deep into yourself and figure out, you know, what feels good to you. What feels right to you? What direction do you, if you didn't have limitations and all limitations are self-imposed limitations through choices that we've made in the past, I'm channeling folks who oh, I love when I channel. Ah! <laughs> all choices that we make, um, where we are is, is a result of all choices that we've made, okay? And we might say, no, 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 you don't understand the way I grew up. Gar, mm, uh, do you want me to tell you my grow up story? You don't. I don't want to hear your grow up story. Because your grow up story was given to you so you could have a blow up story. It was given to you to help you literally do that. Grow. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, let it all sink in. Be done being angry about my statement and not having to take responsibility for your own life and choices and everything else. And let's get on with the conversation. So <clears throat> where you are right now, though, is not where you're going to be forever unless you continue to make the exact same choices and if you're making the exact same choices nine times out of ten that's because you have not let go of your excuses I know it stinks right because our justifications and our excuses keep us in what we think is a comfort zone We want to get out of that comfort zone, okay? And here's why. We say we want to make this much money. We want to have this type of relationship. We want to live in this type of house. We want a better man or a better woman. We want a better job. We want a better uh, bank account. We want more money. But as long as we stay the same person, we're going to get the same stuff. As long as we think and behave the same way, we're going to have the same results. Another way to explain this, and I'm going to try to be very, uh, I'm going to just try to channel all of this and hopefully it will make sense to anybody listening or re-listening, okay? Where you are today is a result of everything that has happened in your life, but more so it's a result of the decisions that you've made because of what has happened in your life. If you've always seen things happen this way and you continue to allow them to happen this way, 
there, then you will continue to have the same life. The moment you decide, and it truly, it truly is a decision. The moment that you decide you want your life to be different. In that moment, heaven and earth will work together to give you what you want. But so many are caught up in the, this is the way it's always been. This is the way it's always going to be. And they're not reaching outside of their comfort zone, what they know, their familiarity into new circumstances to see how it can be different. So for example, if you grew up in a certain area, a certain neighborhood, a certain side of town, as they like to call it, and you've never uh, br br uh, branched out outside of that side of town, right? then you don't see how other sides of town live, right? And it's important that if you want to be a certain way, that you have to see that way before you can uh, accept it fully to, under, to understand it. We are trying to keep this a very general statement and not uh, micromanage the area that you would want a change in, okay? So if you have always been uh, a certain way, you have to first seek out that either in your mind or in your li living world, you see another way, and then you can start to allow your consciousness to guide you in that way. Now, your subconscious part of your mind already knows all of your answers, all of your <clears throat> ways that you want to be, where you want to be, how you want to be at your soul's journey, your soul's purpose, whatever you want to call it, okay? It just has to, the blocks between your subconscious mind and your conscious mind have to be alleviated so that you can be receiving that information into your conscious mind and move forward in the direction you want. Now, another way to say this is if you are discontent, if you are unhappy, if you are disgruntled, if you feel like there's more out there, why can't I get it? I know, I, I, I know there's so much more for me, but I feel stuck. That's another way of saying everything I just said. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do uh, healings or clearings and we're going to say uh, we are stuck I get a yes and if you're watching or re-watching this show these clearings will work and that's at about the 13 minute mark the next clearing is my subconscious mind is releasing my soul's journey to my conscious mind and I get a no so let's do that because the greatest thing we can do in this lifetime is fulfill a journey and that journey is is something that is so extraordinary to you and you alone okay okay i want to say hi to heather and to, oh, Genevieve, it's so wonderful to see you. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm going to go directly to the first caller. And the first caller is um, 319. 319, how can I help you today? Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Sherelle, Michigan. Hey, Sherelle, how can I help you today? I would just like a message, whatever you, whatever that comes through, please okay. and thank you. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to say at the beginning of the show, due to the length of the time of the show, I usually work with direct questions or a direct connection. Oh, okay. Um, but Sherelle, the message I'm getting from you, and this is from a woman who is older. I feel like it's a grandma. I don't feel like it's your mom, but I do feel like it's a grandma. She was fuller. And... um. She is 
wanting to tell you, uh, see, when you, uh, this is, folks, this is what I'm going to tell you. When you do not ask a direct question about something, you might not love your message that you get, but your message is needed. So I'm just going to say, remember, I don't know what she's about to say, but I feel like you're going to be like, oh, no. Okay, she is saying, and I'm not going to change the way she's saying it. She's saying, you need to get it together. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you need to get it together. Get You're, it together as far as what? As, fa as just, far as okay, what? Just, oh, oh, she is saying, uh, she like <laughs> did that. She did like, I wish, I hope you are watching me because she did the whole eye roll and snapped her head and looked like, you know what you need to get together. <laughs> I mean, that look scared me a little bit. Okay, I'm just saying right now. <laughs> Okay, so what she's saying is that, <laughs> give me a moment to take a breath here because she is one, she okay, has a very strong, strong energy about her. So the, the biggest thing she wants, and I'm going to try to say this without interrupting myself. Um, the biggest thing she wants to say is you need to get it together. There are things in your life you're letting sit by the wayside or fall apart. Um, you're not paying attention to everything you need to be paying attention to. Oh, yep. There she comes. You need yeah. to start looking at the details of your life because your life is going to stay exactly where it is. If you don't, I think a lot of the messages in the beginning might've been, you know, for everybody, but also for yeah. you. Um, she is acknowledging that there is, oh, one area of your life. Okay. Something or someone has been kind of consuming your life or your thoughts a little bit. She's like, put that on the back burner. And, and really what she wants to say is you need to let that go because that is taking you way off course. You need to, and she points her finger a lot, by the way, you need to um, be in a space where you are focusing on you and your life and what you want. Um, I don't want to say this. Okay, I don't know if this is for you, but in case somebody else is listening that needs this message, stop playing house with a guy who ain't paying your bills. <laughs> No, I don't. Okay, so what? <laughs> I don't know if this is for you specifically, or maybe like, maybe you have somebody else in your family who needs to hear this message. I'm not gonna call you out on this one, but she is saying, stop playing house with a man who is not paying your bills. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I cannot make this stuff up. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Yeah. So, and I <laughs> I feel like uh, based on that message, what's really preoccupying you is the do little. Uh, the do, the do, the do. What's preoccupying you is the physical element of this relationship, if I'm going to put it differently. It's really got you twisted. And what she is saying is, you know, that's all good and everything, but get serious about yourself. Get serious about your life. Start making power moves for you. Don't let. I've been trying to. Don't let. Oh, my yeah. God. Don't let a dinghy be the thingy that takes you down. Oh, my God. <laughs> You have a okay. very strong, um, you have a very strong future and she wants you, what, the biggest message she wants to give you is uh, get it together mm -hmm. and focus on you, okay? Dinghies come yes. and go, whether like that, that means message. a man or a man's thing, dinghies come and go, uh -huh. you need to focus on you because you know, there's something you're missing right now. There's something. Okay. 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 
Um, Sherelle, have you thought about um, having a, yes. a business? Some yes, sort? yes okay. I am. Oh, my God. Yes. Because she, can, she, keeps say, she keeps saying business, 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 business. So I'm going to tell you That's right That's all I've been thinking about is. You yes. need to. Oh, my God. Okay, you need to, and I'm sorry I'm going to say it like the way she's, I'm not sorry I'm saying it like she's telling me to say no, it. No, go ahead. Say it like she's telling blunt. me to say it. Go she's ahead. Saying, you, I need like to let, you need go to let, ahead. you need to let go of the boy. You need to get into your own life, into your own business. You need to do for you everything that you want to do for somebody else. You need to stay steady, focused on you and your future. You're never going to get past where you are if you stay in this uh, pre. I'm going to. I'm not using her word. I'm saying preoccupied thoughts. Now that doesn't mean you cannot have a man in your plan that means any man in your plan should be okay. building stacking and growing with you with you with you for your goals now whatever this business is it's a good business idea and it's a good business plan you need to put uh, stop daydreaming but, but, and start but the thing is, working. I don't mean to interrupt you. I don't even know what business or what I, business ideas. I don't have no ideas. I just know I want to start a business. I'm just stuck on what I want to do. Okay, I'm. Here's what That's, we're gonna do right yeah. now because there is. Here's for okay, you. Go ahead. Here's here's the thing for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. We, I believe, and I've been guided and and channeled so many times you know i've had mm -hmm. four really amazing careers in my life and each of these careers i have been independent and owned and so we don't just have one business yes. in us yes but whatever we do as a business is something we are so passionate about it's what we what we yes immerse our time in so if you're really passionate about hairs nails eyelashes eyebrows uh skin care mm -hmm. uh face stuff she's bringing up all beauty stuff for you but it doesn't mean it has to be that anything that you okay. find yourself continually looking at researching trying to do or fascinated with that's a good start to where your business should be it's something you love and you could spend all day doing okay now <laughs> If okay. whatever that is for you, and it doesn't mean you have to go to school, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you have to go to right. anything. It might be something that's deep inside of you already. There's a knowing. So there's something stopping or blocking us from knowing exactly. our purpose. I get a yes, we're going to start clearing that. And that's mm -hmm. at the 23 minute mark, folks. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> and that's a biggie. I'm going to double down on that. I'm not only, thank you. See, did you feel that too? Thank you. Yes, okay. a big I'm, relief. Yes. I'm going to double down on that. Now there's, there's something stopping or blocking us from knowing our purpose. I get a yes, we clear that. Now I'm going to go one more and I'm going to say, there is something stopping or blocking us from actually living and doing our purpose I get a yes we're gonna clear that because you know what yes. there is no greater pleasure yes. in this world than being able to live your truth your journey why you are yes. here so this is not only for you Sherelle this is for everybody watching and re-watching and if anybody on YouTube yes. felt that clearing if you felt that breath that heaviness that pull please say yes uh, on on the chat let me know you felt that yes. hey hey Matthew nice to see you on YouTube big hug going out to you so now what I want to say Sherelle is these are your messages from your grandma no. please get on this she now loves which way do she commit no, one more thing. What, how nope, she nope, nope. Stop, Sherelle. Stop, Sherelle. Like, Stop, Sherelle. Everybody gets one question, one connection. You got okay. a question and a okay, connection. I'm sorry. I could take the whole hour talking with you, I'm but you sorry. can. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't mind doing it. And I would spend 
the whole hour know, talking with that. you, but my phone log is completely full and I cannot do it. So what I'm going to do okay. is I'm going to put you on hold, but do not go anyplace, Sherelle, because I'm going to be a doing, a, I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of money and career clearings based on other callers coming in. So hang on for those. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank love. you so much for the lovely message. Absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. My okay. pleasure. Okay. I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 917. 917. How are you? Hi, today? how are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Ali Sad. I'm, I'm sorry, can you say that again? It's Lisa. I'm calling from New York City. Okay, perfect. And if you have me on speaker um, or whatever, if you can like just um, not have, not do that um, for you and anybody else calling in because it just, the I'm using a speaker phone and it just makes it very, um, I just want the clearest connection for everybody. So how can I help you today? Okay, this is all right. So in December, I'm going to be moving because I'm in passing, just to let you know. I'm still a novice, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to be moving, all right? And where I'm moving to, unfortunately, it looks like there's someone that lives in that development happens to prey on people that are single for money. And I clearly see it. I clearly, clearly see it. So my question to you is this. Should I call the news to give them a tip or just let that person get evicted? Um, so I just want to make sure. Because I... it makes a great news story. So where you're moving to? There's a person who is preying on people for money, is what you're saying? Yeah, well, the, yeah, it's a man. He plays on uh, women for money. The people that, I mean, he, he's, he's uh, playing on people for money. Uh, and or he tries to he'll pay for money or he tries to push himself, you know, on them. You know, he'll try to push himself. You know, if he sees that the person is hungry, it looks like he'll try to, you know, try to hit on them. So, and um, being that I'm empathic, should I report this to the, give the news, should I report him to the local news station, or should I just wait until he's evicted? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> that's a good one, because me personally, I prefer to just give the news a tip. Okay, um, here's what I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm asking questions right now, like I'm asking about this particular person and what he's doing and how he's doing it and so on and so forth. And the thing I get is the best thing for you to do if you want to help is to let him catch a case. Not a news story because they'll have to do too much background work. But once he's caught a case, so to say, meaning he has been arrested and charged with scamming or defrauding people, that's when the news story will come in. Um, until then, it's really not anything they might look at. Now, if you don't want to go that route, uh, you have to just let this be and pray for the people he is scamming. But but that is okay. that's very interesting, um, and thank you for sharing it.